Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking you behind the scenes of a special project I've been working on. I recently had the opportunity to shoot for Craywoods Eyewear, a brand that's all about sustainability and style. And guess what? If you ever wonder how to capture stunning eyewear shots using this incredible lighting equipment, you're in the right place. So let's dive straight in. Okay, so first things first, I positioned one of my C-stands with the boom on top. This will serve as a backdrop support to hang up my um, backdrop that I'm going to use. And I made sure to extend it out far enough for the shot and tighten the knob so they don't loosen and begin to drop due to the weight of the backdrop. In addition, I put a sandbag on the bottom of the C-stand for extra support so it doesn't tip over. Alright, so next... I'll secure the artificial grab turf that will serve as a backdrop for my shots with a few spring clamps. I chose to use artificial turf because one, I already had it from a previous Easter shoot, and two, because the brand I'm shooting for makes their sunglasses from 100% natural materials. I wanted to keep the looks consistent with the brand's niche, if that makes sense. I wanted to use colors in the shot that were symbolic of the earth. Once I've secured the turf to the mini boom, I'll place the sandbag in a convenient location to help it with extra weight, and then I'll begin lifting the stand poles to the desired height. My go-to camera for today's shoot will be my Canon R6. I currently have my 35mm attached, but I believe I'll be shooting with my 50mm and my 85 today, so I'll remove the 35 and attach the 50mm for starters and use that first to get my upper body shots. Because the focus will be on the glasses, I don't want to shoot too wide, which is why I choose the 50mm and the 85mm prime. Alright, so now I'm going to take one of my Godox S2 Flash S-Type brackets for my Godox 8200 Pro and start attaching it to one of my light stands. Then I'll take one of my Godox 8200s and place it in that S-bracket that I just set up on the light stand. This will be my secondary light. Alright, so now I'm going to go grab my 28 inch Glow Pair Pop Softbox and attach it to another Godox S2 flash bracket on the back. And I'll go place this on the end of a black extension arm and attach that to a different C-stand. Okay, so after setting up my softbox, I will mount a MagMod mag grid to the front of the first 8200 Pro that I configured earlier. I'm doing this because I want to be able to control the light on the flashes produced by this specific unit. This light will almost certainly be placed on my side, beneath me, somewhere in front of me, or behind me serving as a rim light or a bounce light. Next, I'm going to attach my Godox X-Pro-C TTL wireless flash trigger for Canon to my Canon R6 and begin adjusting my camera's angles and height to begin shooting. After adjusting the settings that will be used on the flash for my key light, I will begin to raise it to the desired height for my first set of shots, which would be placed directly in front of me, angled 45 degrees down. Before I change it to my first outfit, I'll take a few test shots to see if this is the lighting that I want to use. When I think I found a good light setting, I'll then go grab my wireless camera remote, flip up the screen display so I can see myself in the shots, and start shooting a few shots to see if I like what I'm doing. This will be done while adjusting the aperture, shutter speed, and position of the first strobe light until I get a good image. I really like the images that are coming out, but I do believe that they're a little too harsh, so I'm gonna soften them up a little by adding a MagMod MagSphere 2, uh, this dome-shaped diffuser that comes with MagMod's products, on top of the grid to soften the light just a little bit. As a result, I got an even better look. Now that I got my lights set up the way I want them and my camera settings set up the way I want them, it's time to change outfits. Grab the sunglasses I'm going to shoot with and get into position to start capturing some images. Thank you. 
After I finished shooting with my 50 millimeter, I decided to get even closer shots. So I switched up to my 85 millimeter. This 85 lens is also a macro lens, which is awesome. So it produces extremely sharp images. And this is why I love shooting with Canon. When shooting for a brand, I like to capture multiple images from various angles and perspectives so that I can have a large number of options to choose from when selecting my favorites in post-production. So while shooting, I'll be adjusting the secondary light several times, as well as the height of the tripod, holding the camera and the ball head to get different perspectives, all while doing multiple poses to get different looks in each shot. By doing it this way, it would allow me to get a diverse range of photos that I can use for a variety of purposes, such as social media posts, website content, or advertising. It also gives the brand multiple options to choose from when selecting images to use in their marketing materials. In addition, I often experiment with different props, backgrounds, and lighting setups to create unique and eye-catching images that will help the brand stand out in a crowded market. By taking the time to capture a wide range of shots, I ensure that I have plenty of high quality options to work with during the post-production process, and I can deliver a final product that meets the brand's needs and exceeds their expectations. All right, after my first set of shots and my first look of me standing next to the backdrop, I decided to change up the scene a little bit by placing a secondary artificial turf on the floor and placing two white leather couches on top of it right next to the background. I wanted to take some overhead shots of myself laying on the couch, which I was inspired from a, a Tom Ford ad campaign that I saw from a few years ago. So now I have to move the light set up a little bit to make sure the light is hitting me directly in the face the way I want to. After placing the furniture in position to where I want it to be, I then grabbed another C-stand and attached my camera to the end with a custom ball head that I rigged up so that I can shoot and film shots from above. And I'm going to place it directly over the edge of the couch where I'll be laying down at. After making numerous adjustments to the strobe stand height and power settings, I'll take a few test shots to see how they look before getting serious with my poses. Once I found the light settings that work for the aesthetic and the style that I'm going for, I'll start shooting more seriously and taking multiple poses to give me a variety of images to choose from during the post-production selection process. This is a crucial step because the poses and expressions of the subject can make or break a shot. I'll often direct the subject which would be myself in this instance, to try different poses and facial expressions or experiment with different props and backgrounds to create a unique and engaging image. This process can take some time, but it's worth the effort to ensure that the final product is a high quality image that meets the needs and expectations of the brand that I'm shooting for. In addition, by taking the time to capture a wide range of poses and expressions, I can create a library of images that the brand can use for future campaigns, which saves time and resources in the long run. Ultimately, my goal is to create images that not only showcase the brand's products in the best possible light, but also to tell a story and capture the attention of the viewers. And that wraps up our eyewear shoot for Craywoods. I hope you found this tutorial insightful. 
and picked up some tips on how to use the Godox 8200 Pro to its full potential. Remember, it's all about experiment with angles, lighting, and of course, having fun in the process. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow photographers, and make sure you subscribe for more content. A big shout out to Godox also for creating such versatile equipment. Until next time, keep shooting and stay inspired.